let's talk about Scheme. So Scheme is a member of the Lisp family of languages. And this is a classic example here of a recursive definition of factorial. So what is factorial? So factorial is something like five exclamation mark. And the definition is five times four times three times two times one. So that's what factorial does. The definition here, factorial is a function that takes an argument n. So this is the, the name of the function. This is our way we define a function. Here is the input argument. And now first we check if n equals zero, and if so, we return one. So here's the base case. And then if n is not equal to zero, we do n times the factorial of one minus n. So writing this in like uh, infix notation, this might look like n times factorial n minus one. You can see actually the way it's written is it's in prefix notation. So the operator always comes first and the arguments to the operator come second. And everything is an S expression in these parentheses. So that's a distinguishing feature of Lisp like languages is you get a whole bunch of parentheses. So here's a nice recursive definition of factorial. One thing to notice is this is kind of should be vaguely uh, reminiscent of JavaScript. So we've been doing var factorial equals function of n, and then the actual definition. So if you, if you look at this, this is the JavaScript. We have the name equals this function expression, and then we have the function body. Up here, we're defining factorial to be lambda of n. So this lambda n is really like the function of n in JavaScript. So there's just, that's the analogy there. And if you start thinking, so here's the value, the function value that's being assigned to a variable. So here we're assigning a function value, a lambda, to factorial. This is sort of an anonymous function, right? This is anonymous. This doesn't have a name until we assign it to factorial. But you start thinking about that up here, we're defining this lambda to factorial, but we're actually using factorial inside recursively. So that makes me wonder, like, how do you do recursive anonymous functions? in JavaScript or in Lisp or anything, how do you do anonymous recursive functions? Because here, just in this function part, we can't refer to factorial again for it to be fully anonymous. So here's the answer, the Y combinator. So this is a crazy expression. <laughs> so what does it do? Well, let's, let's explain this with an example. So I would like to do lambda of recursive name then lambda of n. Then down here, I'll put the definition of factorial. But with recursive name. And so this double lambda expression is now fully anonymous, because I'm just referring here in recursive name, I'm just referring to the, one of the arguments. So that's that's not talking about the name of the function itself. So now I have this double lambda expression. 
if I do y of that double lambda expression, that will actually be an anonymous recursive function. So that's pretty crazy. So how does it actually work? So we're not going to go through exactly how this works, but this gives you a taste of how Scheme and other Lisp-like languages, what, what goes on. So there's lambdas, there's lambdas within lambdas. Over here, we got functions calling themselves. It's, it's crazy stuff and it's all good. Mm -hmm.